Well, hello there, wonderful person. Let's take a look at what's new with Wraithbinder. Uh, in the top of the screen, we've got some an easier, clearer interface that shows you... Okay, those are my enemies, right? Frez is an enemy that just came on screen. Uh, there's the three, char or three characters that are on my team. Four characters total up there that are green. There's Nat, Urk, Jer, and Dam. And... Uh, we're all battling Frez, actually. Like, lots of us are battling Frez right here. Oh, Frez is now on our team. See? So now she's green up there in the top. So um, that's pretty neat, right? It really shows you at a glance who's on what team, and it kind of clarifies the whole game. The whole point of this game is to get everybody else on your team if you're playing in teams mode. Or if you're uh, starting off in solo mode, free-for-all, the whole point is to... Um, get everyone to be on your team. Basically, as soon as you get someone on your team, it just starts to be a cascade effect, and they, whoever they kill is now on your team, too. So that's pretty neat. Uh, and then also we have the HP and MP bars at the bottom of the screen, which clearly show you what's going on with your matter points, which is really important now because everything is now using matter. See, I'm using up matter to run. And then when I hit the end of my running ability, it's flashing a, a red one, showing I need some more stone. You basically need to harvest some matter by either destroying some stones like this or hitting some players, and you're, you'll gain up some matter. You build up your matter. So uh, it's kind of like mana points, except that you harvest it. You're harvesting it from the environment and from uh, other players. So this makes using using the, the, the boots ability is so fun now, and it's really cool because you have to manage your resources properly. like. Um, you know, I can't, you gotta be smart about when you run, and also when you, check it out, when you telekinesis too, like if I want to telekinesis this, uh, this thing out of the way and be able to steal this base, it uses a lot of, you know, telekinesis uses a good deal of matter points, and this kind of opens up a whole another pathway for items that can upgrade abilities, because you can say, okay, I want to buy an item that, um, makes my telekinesis more efficient or something like that or maybe you just want to buy an item that increases your matter points overall right now each character uh, is limited in their amount of matter points they can they can get maximum um, and then you can upgrade that as you gain levels um, so so it really adds a nice depth to the game and really makes it a lot more strategic about everything you're doing um, and then like almost everything costs matter points too now like you know the ghost sword costs a few matter um, the boomerang does not cost matter however the boomerang and actually can pick up matter so it was kind of a it's kind of a resource another resource harvesting thing see I'm, I'm gaining a little bit of matter from that um, let's go ahead oh shoot I'm almost the last person left alive so I'm gonna go ahead and let myself die so you can see this recap now this is another new thing. Oh, we've got the boomerang sound playing forever in the background. That's a bug I know of. But uh, anyways, it's going to show us a recap here. This is really neat. Um, I also want to add to this steals, but check it out. We've got kills, deaths, assists, matter points that you gain during the match. This is a quick match. Oh shoot, I really need to have time on here. And there's a lot of garbagey uh, pixel um, problems, bugs at the top there. But anyways, uh, damage that you dealt. That's also another thing. Like, Frez did a lot of damage that, that this game. 142. Uh, how much experience you gained through the match. Uh, current level. And the amount of credits you gained during the match. This is really neat to have this recap. And be like, whoa, look how well I played this match. Or look how horrible my friend played. Or something like that, you know? Um, let's go. Is this going to kill the boomerang sound? I hope so. No, it's still got that bug. Let's quit. Um, all right, so did I talk about everything here? The new HUDs? Uh, yeah, we showed the statistics screen, and you're getting EXP and credits better for everything, and that's where we showed this uh, matter points being used for a lot of items. And in addition, I also completed the release mode build, so that it now runs on Windows. And um, a couple more things that really aren't on this change log are uh, the game now has a backstory. That's pretty neat. Um, that'll be slowly introduced through videos and things like that. But it's nice to have this sort of texture, this world created where it's got a backstory, and this is the whole reason you're going to different planets on your ship to fight in these clandestine battles with other people. Why the heck is it happening? There's a backstory now. That's pretty neat. Another thing is that uh, there's a features list. So I've actually kind of narrowed down exactly what Wraithbinder is and what it's going to be. 
and uh, that is helping me to just clarify everything, make sure that every bit of this game is created um, according to that sort of that sort of general vision at this point. It, for a long time, I didn't have a clear features list, and it was really fun to just kind of create whatever I wanted willy nilly. But just clarifying this feature list is really neat because it it gives me a focus and it allows me to um, not get off on too many tangents. Right, focus on focus on what uh, needs to happen, and also note for I can communicate with other people. Uh, what is going to be happening, right? When it talk, when it comes to time to my working with my publisher, I know exactly when they're uh, going to help me in introduce this aspect of the game or that aspect of the game, or when we're going to be doing alpha and beta and that kind of stuff. That's neat. Um, and another thing is, um, what else was the other things I was working on this week? And anyway, uh, they're not as important, but uh, there you go. Another video making the game Wraith Binder, and man, I'm excited. This is so. It's so much more fun to play with the whole matter points now. Um, I just want to play it again right now. It's really neat also having being able to um, to see like how much damage you did and how much experience you gain and that kind of stuff. So really coming along. Lots of great progress made here on Wraithbinder. So thanks for watching, and we'll catch you with another video later on, guys. Later. <laughs>